get the knife board down because it was laying on its side. Our side it had the board down, but the other side couldn't. And a lot of the people were in the water, of course, and they were supposed to have the knife in the sun. Well, they did. But uh, a lot of them were on rafts. And uh, there was an awful lot of people died, of course. How long? We were picked up by a corvette. Well, there was a plane went over because this was the air, it, it was the about one o'clock in the morning that we were torpedoed. But uh, a plane went over with a loudspeaker saying, Hold on, you'll be picked up later. So after a few hours, about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, we were picked up by a Navy boat, Corvette. Oh my goodness. And we had, after being in that boat all that time, and we were so packed, we had to stand. Only the ones who couldn't stand were sitting down. And we had to climb up this rope ladder at the side of that boat. Oh, yeah. oh, I'd have been terrified. The boat moving. When oh my goodness! Up that ladder in the tree house. There was no problem there. So, how many of you were there, Auntie Marge? How many of you on the boat? Do you think all together that set out? You mean on the lifeboat? No, on the on the original boat that set out. Oh, it was a uh, it was a troop ship. So there was uh, several units of soldiers and. Uh, I think there were two units of, because uh, it, it separated into numbers. We were number 12, General Hospital, but there was another whole complement for a hospital, in with us as well as all the troops. Oh my goodness. Must have been thousands on that boat. Oh my goodness! So the navy came and picked those of you that. It was um, it was it was the Strathavon. It was a luxury liner. That had been it turned had into been a whole liner. Yeah. hospital sort of ship. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So you were in the. It was lovely because we had a swimming pool and. Oh my all goodness! The facilities and whatnot. Whilst we were, uh, it was all right for us because we were officers. But I mean, the other ranks would be all down below. Yeah. It be very hot. So how long had you actually been on the boat before it got torpedoed? How many days were you on the boat? About ten. And it, it had been very rough because it was uh, in December, and we had to go right out into the Atlantic to fox the enemy before we turned around to come through the Bay of Biscay. Yeah. Oh, that Bay of Biscay is really rough as well. Yeah. It's one of the worst Very places rough. to come down. And so when you got picked up by the Navy ship then, then they took you to Africa or they took you to Iran? Where did they take you? Well, it took us into a run and put us on a boat which had just been emptied. And then after that, we were all given separate places to go to. And I had to go down to uh, near Algiers, just outside Algiers. Well, then I got onto an ambulance train and we used to go right up to the coast to pick up the wounded and bring them back to base hospital. Wow. So I was on an ambulance train, there was only two of us on it, myself and another girl, and uh, a medical officer and a surgical officer, and all the rest was the other troops. And the train was only cattle trucks with four stretchers, in each cattle. Oh my goodness. So that's what you used as the... just on the stretch, as you see. Yeah. We brought that. And we had to climb along. That's what makes you laugh about all of it. 
safety things we have nowadays. We used to have to climb along the footboards of those. The wagons. Train. The train was going. If you want to give an injection to anybody, you want to walk and hop from one footplate to another. And if you went through a tunnel while you were there, you came out covered in soot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you would do. 